Hey guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now in the last episode, Caitlin, the Jury of Nine guard from Ocasus, came over to my house and gave me a bag full of guard armor. She told me to give it to the guards, of course, Garth, Dante, and Lawrence, and I think there was some in there for Brian, I am not entirely sure. However, we found out that that armor was actually armor that Garth had designed when he was younger, which led Garth to question why she would even give us that armor if it was newly made, since he designed it so long ago. In any case, I'm over here by the docks because I was thinking about going on the ship, and I know I shouldn't, and I'm not going to. I was thinking about it though. Reason is, is because Garth told me to give all these diamonds to Caitlyn, so we don't owe her for the armor. And I guess he just wants to make sure that we are not in her debt, and I completely agree with him. I don't think that it's a good idea that we, you know, let her think that we owe her something. And I mean, you never know. She might ask us to do something like that would just be, I guess, just really detrimental to like our own security. So without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and put that thought behind me because I, yeah, Thorgy, it's not a good, I'm glad I brought you because I know it's not a good idea to go on that ship because if we do, she might take off with us, or uh, I just I just don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to go, and um, Thorgy is the doggy of the day, of course, because Thorgy was, you know, my first dog I ever got in uh, Phoenix Drop. So we're going to go ahead and check on Levin and Malachi, and of course Zoe as well. So... Uh, Brian, what are you doing here? Lady Afmal, Lady Cadenza requests your presence immediately. It's an emergency. I isn't she sick? She's in good health and has informed me she has completely recovered from her fever. However, this is not a matter of physical health, but rather a personal matter. I ask that you quickly head to her house. Absolutely, yes. If it's an emergency, I'll go. Good. I'll stand guard here at your house today. Uh, great. Um, he looks panicked. That's not good. All right, Thorgy, come on. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, wait on Levin and Malachi, but if, if Condensa's in trouble, she needs our help. Come on, let's go ahead and head over there, Thorgy. Um, oh my goodness. It, wh why me, though? I, I don't understand. Why Why did Brian come and get me instead of Garth, Lawrence, or Dante? I, 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 or himself, actually. I, I don't understand. All right, well, if Cadenza's doing fine, then I I want to go check on her. Oh, Cookie's down there. All right, good. Um, Cadenza? Cad You're okay. Cookie, is everything all right? Oh, Thor, you just wait right here. Cadenza, are you okay? Afmal, I've received word from Kenmer. Cadenza? My father was recently assassinated. What? She falls into your arms crying. I'm such a horrible daughter. I should have been there. Why? Why my daddy? Oh, oh Cadenza. Oh, I'm so here for you. I'm so sorry. Lady Afmal, I am so distraught. I can barely move. Please, please tell me this is a dream. Uh, I, I'm gonna... <laughs> she continues to bawl her eyes out. Cadenza, let's... I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh god, I... <laughs> How about we go to Metelli, Cadenza? Go to... I don't know. His house, his things. They all remind me of my daddy. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to do. Um... Ha... Me... Yes! How do you know Kenmar is even telling you the truth? You haven't seen it. I mean, not to be rude or anything, but I mean, you haven't seen the body. Kenmar wouldn't lie to me. I mean, maybe, maybe he's alive. Maybe if they got the wrong person. I have to know. I have to know. Please, take me to Mateli. Absolutely. Cadenza, I will take you to Mateli if you want me to. I, I, I'm here for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lady Afmao. Please give me a moment to pack up my things. I'll be ready to head out in about an hour. Alright, um, Cookie, uh, Cadenza, I'm gonna give you some time alone. Um, Cookie, uh, you stay here with Cadenza. I was gonna take you back, but if, if Cadenza isn't feeling well, she really needs just... 
I guess some time. Oh my gosh, I... I don't know what to do. I... <laughs> I've never had, like, someone that close to me just... Alright, Thorgy, come on. Yeah, let's... Let's give her some time. Um... Lawrence, we have to... <sighs> I don't even know what, what to do right now. Um... Thorgy, we... <sighs> I have no idea what to do. Really, I... I have, like, where do I even start? Um, I guess I could tell Lawrence or Gareth, um, Brian, I, I don't even know. Lawrence, I need to talk to you. Um, Cadenza, Afmal, Brian tells me Cadenza summoned you. Is everything okay? Um, I should just tell them what happened. What? Hayden is dead? He was like a father to me. How could this happen? Who the heck did they allow to take guard? Take his guard's place and watch over him? Lo Lawrence, Cadenza wants to go to Matelli. Of course she wants to go to Matelli. As do I as well. Are you taking her? Yes, I, I am. Then I'm coming with you as well. Hayden was a powerful man, was a wonderful man, and I need to make whoever did this to him pay. Lawrence, that's not any way to, it's not any way to say, it's not any way to talk, Lawrence. Lawrence, what's with all that yelling? Cadenza's father, Hayden, one of the people who was trying to become Lord of Matelli, was recently assassinated. What? That's horrible. Matelli is right next to us, Garth, and this news only came as of the time that Caitlin the Firefist has been at our shores. I smell foul play. Lawrence, you can't possibly think that she would... Right? Lawrence, I know you are in distress right now. I know that Hayden was a huge father figure in your life, but for the safety of everyone, I ask that you do not go around pointing fingers until you have some solid evidence. He's right, Lawrence. I'm not stupid, Garth. I'm not going to be as... I'm going to be escorting Lady Afmau and Cadenza to Matelli. I'll be at the end of the housing path ready to make way to Matelli Afmau. Come to me when you and Cadenza are ready. All right, Lawrence. Uh, wait. We'll meet you there, I guess. <sighs> Lawrence. Thorgy. Uh, it's not worth it to try to run after him. We'll meet up with him soon. <sighs> All right. Um, Gareth. I... Lawrence. I'm really worried about him, Garth. I am as well. You know, since I met him, he and I have developed a bond that I wish I had with Zane and my youngest brother. He's kind of like a brother to me. He's kind and always making fun. But to see him like this, I can imagine it's much more painful than seeing him as a Shadow Knight. I bet it's scarier than... I bet seeing him as a Shadow Knight is actually scarier than seeing him like this. I don't want to think about it. In any case, Lord Afmau, I cannot accompany you to Matelli. If both you and the head guard leave while a member of the Jury of Nine is present, then that member is allowed to do as they please with Phoenix Drop. What? They- I don't even under- I seriously don't understand these, like, rules that guards ha- Like, how does this even work, Garth? I don't understand. They're very old rules used in times- in the times of Lady Irene, they're very outdated. However, as long as my father and Zane are in charge, the faith of Lady I in charge of the faith of Lady Irene, then I highly doubt those rules will be changed anytime soon. I digress. There is a new path that leads to Matelli and other parts of the region. I would use that as opposed to a boat. I don't want Lady Caitlin to know you are gone. Please be safe on your way to Matelli. I don't expect you to stay there long. However, if you stay there more than a day, please contact me via the communication amulet. I'm sure Lawrence will take very good care of you, but I don't want anything bad happening to you or Phoenix Drop while you are gone. Safe travels, my lord. All right, Garth. Um, I'm going to go and uh, I'm actually going to go and say goodbye to, um, to Levin and Malachi before I leave. I don't want to leave them and then <laughs> them not know exactly what happened to me, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head on over there. Um, yeah, so... It's just... Oh my gosh, I, I have no idea how to handle this with Cadenza. I I mean, the last time that this, something like this happened was such a long time ago. And it, it happened when the dock, like, exploded. Like, when I first got here to Phoenix... I, I don't even want to think about it, but... Alright, um... 
let's go tell Zoe, Lev, and Malachi that we're going to be, um, Kiki! Oh my gosh, Kiki! Uh, Zoe, I need to talk to you first before... Afmal! Kiki told me the most wonderful news about her pendant! She's going to be a... Afmal, are you okay? I'm gonna just tell her the situation with Cadenza. That... that's horrible! I can't believe... I completely understand you might be gone for a few days. Don't worry, I'll take wonderful care of Levin and Malachi. I, I know you will, Zoe. Um, Kiki. Afmal, I heard what you told Zoe. Please give Cadenza my condolences. I'm so sorry to hear that. I will, don't worry. Thank you. Um, I actually have the option to ask her how her pendant- I, I, I want to know, how, how is your pendant doing? My pendant is doing perfectly fine. It's growing warmer and warmer each day. I can't wait for the baby to be born from it. I wonder what it means. I wonder if it means it will be any different than babies that are born regularly. I st I'll love my baby no matter what, though. I wish you and Cadenza safe travels. <sighs> All right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Kiki and Zoe. Um, before I go, I need to uh grab the stone that Garth had given me. Um, let's see. There we go. It's right there. Uh, I'm also gonna take a few lassos just in case. I mean, you never know. And, um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the block of diamond with me as well because I, I just don't want that to, um, I, I I'm gonna take a potion of harming. I'm gonna take all my potions. Um, I don't know why I need a potion. I'm gonna take a potion of night vision though, just in case. Again, you never know what you're going to need. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Um, there we go. Um, I'll keep the diamonds on me. I really hope that, uh, Caitlyn doesn't come looking for something, like, some kind of payment or anything like that. Um, what else do I need? Ah, yes, I need, a uh, need food for, um, cooked rat. I could take some of that. Uh, I have the raw beef. There we go. I gotta feed the dogs before I leave. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> oh, they're all like, you got food? Ah. <sighs> I wish I was as carefree as a dog. I, I really do. But you guys stay here. Um, I want you all to protect uh, Levin and Malachi and Zoe while I'm gone. I'm, even though I'm sure Garth can do that on his own. Um, Thorgy, where are you? Come here. Come here. Come here, Thorgy. I want you to eat before yeah you get all wounded and things like that. Okay. Um, I need to speak with Levin and Malachi. Uh, boys, are you in here? Where do they go? Oh, Levin's just dancing. Uh, Malachi. Mom? Where are you? You heard me all the way from up here? Uh, I'm just gonna explain to him the situation with Cadenza. He's old. He's much older than he looks. Um, and I'm sure he understands because he is a, you know. That's horrible. Death is not something I wish on anyone, ever. Please tell Cadenza that as long as her father isn't a corrupt spirit, that he's in a better place. But then again, if he is a corrupt spirit, he'll be alone for a while. But maybe like me, he'll find someone to be with. Like I did you. Please be safe. I'll take care of that. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh. I didn't know you were a corrupt spirit. I, that's interesting to know. Uh, Levin. Levin, I'm going to be gone for a little bit. Mommy, go? Uh, he's too young to understand. Um, when he's older, I'll tell him. But just on a small trip. Oh, okay. I love you. <laughs> Aw. That's so sweet. He's got Malachi, his music box, and Zoe, so he should be perfectly fine. Thorgy, you're going to come with me to Mattelli, all right? Um, I really want you to come with me. And I'm- Cookie, we gotta bring Cookie, too. We can't just bring, um... We can't just bring Thorgy without bringing Cookie, because I want them to keep Cadenza, um, company. Um, if anything, and if Cadenza decides to stay in Mattelli, which... If she does, it's perfectly fine. Um, but I... I would probably leave Cookie with... Cadenza, just because she seems... Is that Lawrence? He's already waiting for me. Um, I guess he's ready to go. I do want to find out what Brendan is up to, though, and see exactly what he's doing up there, because he's been up there since... Thank you for opening the door, by the way, Thorgy. I really appreciate that. He's been up there since... since yesterday, and why is he with a training dummy? Uh, what is that? Brendan? What are you... Afmau, I've taken up box... Why? Because then maybe will Nicole will notice me, yeah? I'm sure she will. Brendan... <laughs> you do your thing, Brendan. You just always have that little smirk about you. And you, gosh, you're rambunctious. Um, but I guess that's why he's training up there. So maybe Nicole will notice his pecs or 
training or something? I, I have no idea. I'm not even going to worry about it, you know? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it, Thorgy. Um, I got bigger things to worry about. Seriously, bigger things to worry about. I'll go check on Alexis when I get back, but right now this is kind of immediate, even though there's so much uh, just... C Lawrence, I'll be there in a second. Hold on. I need to go check on Cadenza. Cadenza, are you ready to go? I don't- I know it hasn't been an hour, but I don't have much to bring, so I'm ready to go. Please. I don't know if I can walk right now. I'm still grieving. Can you please carry me in a lasso or something? A soul stone, even. I don't care. I just want my daddy back. <sighs> I can carry you, Cadenza. I have, like, I- <laughs> you're lucky I brought a bunch of lassos, because I, I definitely can carry you, so. Yeah, um, I'll hold her in the lasso. So, yeah. Cookie, come on. You can come with me, too. Both of you. Um, I've got enough food for you guys, and I think we'll be perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah, we just need to talk to Lawrence, and we can start heading to Matelli. And since, uh, since Garth doesn't want us to take a boat, I guess we have to take a path here. Um, so, where's Cadenza? She really doesn't... I'm just going to show him the lasso. I see. I don't blame her. Are you ready to go? Did you see Levin and Malachi before you came here? If not, you should. <laughs> Don't worry, Lawrence. <laughs> that was like the first thing that I did. All right, let's go. To Matelli. If you keep going straight, there's a path here you can take to the village. I'll follow you, my lord. If you need any guidance, ask me. All right, um, but I'm sure I could just follow the path there, so um, let's get going. Oh my gosh. I... I... Unger... <sighs> I feel like I should just pay my respects for a moment, just... <sighs> Lawrence, we don't need to be here any longer. I... I feel bad because I'm pretty sure Lawrence came here before, just... <sighs> I don't want Lawrence to linger there longer than he needs to. Alright, whoa, B! Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> All right, come on, guys, let's go. Um, Lawrence, I, I, I haven't been actually since things have changed in Phoenix Drop. I, I I haven't been this way, so I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. But I'm probably gonna have to stop and ask you for like directions soon if I don't find like the path we're looking for. Um, so let's just keep heading and see if we can find. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like a path. Yeah, this is de yeah, this looks like a path. Like it like ooh, this is like a really um grungy path, I guess. Just All right, yeah. Uh, you guys with me? All right, Lawrence is there. Um let's just keep going and see if we can find um is this a fork in the road? Uh so there's something over there. And then is this the way to Matelli? Uh it looks like it. Actually, that looks like Matelli all the way over there. So come on, let's go ahead and head this way. Uh, because if if I remember correctly, it's just like literally like I could actually swim there, but like Gara said, he doesn't want me to be seen by Caitlyn. So I guess this is like under the cloak of the forest. It's probably the better idea just to come all the way around, even though it's super close by. Uh, yep, this looks like Matelli, all right, or this looks like a bridge. Um, this should be Matelli, though. I mean. This is just like in the right direction. Literally, Phoenix Drop is right there. Yep, that's Matelli. That's Matelli. Okay, um, yeah, everyone's with me still, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see. Where do we... Okay, just keep following the path. There we go. Just stay right on track, and we should be there very soon without anybody... Ulrich. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen you! Lawrence! Cadenza? Aphmau, I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. I see Cadenza got the message. Um, she's not in the mood to see anybody right now. I don't blame the lass. Now, if you will follow me, Kenmer wants to have a few words with Cadenza. As you can see, the village of Matelli has changed, but I'll let you tour the village later. Right now, we need to talk. All right, I we'll follow you, Ulrich. Lawrence, you're looking good. How have things been treating you? Things have been good. <sighs> Cadenza, you look as beautiful as ever. <laughs> okay. 
My sincerest apologies, but Cadenza, there are some things we need to discuss. I can understand if you do not wish to talk and I do not expect you to. First things first, while you were away, your father had become the Lord of Matelli. Uh, uh, Second, now that he is gone and you are of proper age, you have the ability to take on the role as a Lord of Matelli, if you choose. However, you only have one week to choose if or if not to do so. Kenmer, I understand your concern. However, I'm sure Cadenza isn't in any mental state to think about a decision like that right now. Well, it's something she has to think about. Her father just passed away. Give her some time. I agree with Lawrence, Kenmer. Just... Cadenza. I understand, Lawrence. My apologies. Cadenza, you are very welcome to stay in the village guest headquarters if you prefer. We locked up your father's house for investigation. Are there any clues as to who did this? In the case over there, there is a, a, one shred of evidence. We know what we have as to his assassination, a feather from a chicken. You know what that means, Lawrence. You don't think Castor the Chicken Shaman did this? All clues point to him, Lawrence. He's always been off. Uh, I mean, he's... Kenmer, allow me to interrogate him tomorrow. If I find him guilty, although he is my friend, I will not hesitate to bring him to justice. I swear it. Fine, I'll grant you that. However, if you cannot prove him nor disprove him guilty, I will make sure he is locked up. There have been too many incidences that point to him being the culprit of too... of... The, <laughs> the village of Matelli grows tired of this. You'll have an answer to everything tomorrow. For now, we'll retire to sleep. Very well. I'll have the guest quarters house prepared for the U3. Get some rest, my beautiful Cadenza. <sighs> Cadenza, come on. Let's go. My goodness, it's it's just been such a long, dreary day, and the weather is just uh, such a good representation of that. Oh, Cadenza. Cadenza, how are you feeling? I'm sorry, Afmal. I don't feel like talking to anyone right now. It's fine, Cadenza. I completely understand. Cookie, you keep her company, and Thorgy, you do too. Lawrence? I've known the Chicken Shaman for quite a while before I had left Matelli. He's a crazy guy who makes no sense, but he's completely harmless. I'm pretty sure people misjudge him because of how he is, but I can't believe that Castor would do this. In any case, approaching him at night is sure to spook him. You and I will go tomorrow morning. Cadenza should stay here in town. Go get some rest, my love. <laughs> my love? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just tired. I didn't realize what is said. Get some rest, my lord. I guess they both begin with the same letter, but still. <sighs> anyway, guys, it's been a crazy, crazy episode. I, I'm actually going to go outside for this. I don't want Lawrence or Cadenza to, you know, I'm just going to go underneath here for a second. I just can't believe those cats are still out there. My goodness. As you can see, Lady Caitlin's ship, it's not so far from Phoenix Drop, which, again, I should stay out of sight, which I'm going to do, but... Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. It's quite a bit to take in. It really is. But we're going to get to the bottom of this, and we're going to make whoever, we're going to bring whoever did this to Cadenza's father, we're going to bring him to justice. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. Tomorrow, we will make sure we go and find justice, and we will deliver it. If you liked this episode, be sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye!